Hello, friends. How are you all? Hope everything's okay with you. Love you, Ashraf here. So, for today's video, I would like to share with you guys the part two of the most amazing national park in the world. So, hope you like it. Thank you all for your support. Thank you all for watching. See ya. Fiordland National Park, New Zealand. You cannot miss New Zealand if you're on a tour of the world, especially Fjordland National Park, the largest of all 14 parks on the island. This epic park provides scenery ranging from blue mountains to lush forests and plenty of diverse wildlife. Fjordland National Park is one of New Zealand's treasured natural icons and is internationally recognized as part of the wider UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is home to glaciers, alpine ranges, and unique flora and fauna that has been in existence since New Zealand was part of the supercontinent Gondwanaland. Fiordland National Park itself covers 1.2 million hectares of mountain lake, fjord, and rainforest environments and is administered by the Department of Conservation. Human activity within Fjordland has been limited because of its challenging and wild landscapes. Fjordland National Park is known around the world for its breathtaking collection of fjords, which ironically are mostly named as sounds. Interestingly, both terms are correct. Fjord is a geological term for an ice-carved landscape that has been inundated by water, usually the sea, and a sound is a geographical term for a large ocean inlet. Fjordland National Park is the most popular national park in New Zealand for international visitors. Over half a million people visit the national park every year. However, the visitors' numbers are almost exclusively concentrated in the park's northeastern corridor from Teano to Milford Sound. Canaima National Park, Venezuela The jungles, wetlands, plateaus, and waterfalls running down the edge of enormous cliffs of Canaima National Park in Venezuela will take your breath away. This park is also home to Angel Falls, the highest uninterrupted waterfall in the world that drops over 800 feet. Canaima National Park is located along the borders of Brazil and Guyana in the southeastern region of Venezuela. The national park boundaries encompass an area of 12,000 square miles. Canaima is the second largest national park in the country and the sixth largest national park in the world. The majority of the park is accounted for by plateaus, rock formations known as tetris. These tabletop plateau mountains features near vertical walls reaching heights over 3,000 feet. The National Park features Angel Falls, which is the tallest waterfall in the world. Angel Falls reaches a height of 3,212 feet, creating the tallest uninterrupted waterfall with an initial plunge of 2,648 feet followed by another 1,300 feet of slope cascading falls. The second plunge of 98 feet occurs a little farther downriver. Locally, Angel Falls is referred to as the waterfall of the deepest place, or the fall from the highest point. It is one of the seven natural wonders of South America and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Predators that might be seen in the area include the cougar and the jaguar, 
Other possible wildlife includes the giant armadillo, the giant otter, two-toed slot, the green iguana, and the green dart frog. Bird life includes the dusky parrot, harpy eagle, hummingbirds, red shoulder macaw, and toucans. There are no overland roads to the settlements of Kanaima. The only access is by air. Kilimanjaro National Park, Tanzania It is home to the highest mountain and highest point in Africa and contains miles of grassland and savanna. Mount Kilimanjaro is one of the largest volcanoes in the world. Kilimanjaro National Park established in 1973 initially comprised the whole of the mountain above the three line and six forest corridors stretching down through the mountain forest belt. At the time of inscription in 1987, the main pressures affected mostly the forest reserve which acted as a buffer zone to the park. The World Heritage Committee recommended extending the national park to include more areas of mountain forest. Following a 2005 extension, the national park includes the whole of the mountain above the tree line as well as the natural forest, which was under Kilimanjaro Forest Reserve and as such fulfills the criteria of integrity. It is important that the extension of the national park be reflected in the boundaries of the property. The prices for Kilimanjaro climbs vary wildly. To climb Kilimanjaro can cost you anything from $1,000 to $4,000 and above. Singi Forest, Madagascar Also known as the Forest of Knives This park may be one of the least visited but most amazing national parks in the world Possibly because the only way you can access them is through the helicopter They consist of huge, jug, limestone rocks that jut into the air far above the trees while it's a dangerous place to explore, it's also like no other place in the world. This 666 square kilometer region has been classified as UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1990 because of its unique, breathtaking geography, preserved mangrove forest, and wild bird and lemur populations. The Singu rise up to 70 meters from the ground. At these heights, the tops are bare and razor sharp. At lesser heights, one gets to see vegetations with roots tens of meters below. The word Singi is indigenous to the Malagasy language and as a description of the karst badlands of the Madagascar. The word which translates into English as where we cannot walk barefoot describes the exceptional topography. This topography of eroded limestone may exist in other areas around the world, but nowhere as tall, slender, and extensive as the spires here. Beneath this apparent austerity, an extraordinary world of forest canyons, Human caves and burning cars cairn is inhabited by fundamentally different plants and animals who thrive in close proximity. Banff National Park, Canada The piston lakes and valleys of Banff, Alberta 
will truly give you a taste of all North America's beauty, landscape, and wildlife. Simplicity marks the origin of Banff, Canada's first national park. In 1883, on the slopes of the Canadian Rocky Mountains, three railway workers discovered a natural hot spring, and from there, the park was born. Nowadays, Banff is one of the world's premier destinations, spanning a region of unparalleled majestic mountain scenery. Every year, millions of visitors make the pilgrimage to Banff to take in stunning views and a settle of activities. Cave and Basin Hot Springs is now a National Historic Site that offers a high-definition movie, living history activities, a ranger-led biodiversity experience in the surrounding marshlands, and an evening lantern tour. It's no longer possible to take a dip in the soothing waters, but just 10 minutes away is Banff Upper Hot Springs, a modern spa with outer pools, changing rooms, and a cafe. Open year-round, Banff offers amazing wildlife viewing and sightseeing, plus plentiful shopping and dining options any time of the year. Summer is popular for hiking, paddling, mountain biking, and cycling, photography, and climbing. The best time for viewing seasonal color is fall, when the large trees, the only coniferous trees to lose their needles in winter, turn yellow. In winter, the mountain landscape makes for incredible downhill and cross-country skiing. In fact, three major downhill ski resorts operate within the park. Lake Lewis Ski Resort, Sunshine Village, and Mount Norway. The ski season, which runs from November to May, is one of the longest in North America. Visitors can also enjoy wildlife tours, ice walks, snowshoeing, and dog sled and horse sleigh rides. So that's it for today my friends thank you all so much for watching thank you all for your support and if you're new to our channel please don't forget to subscribe like comment and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to get notified whenever we post our new videos thank you all so much for watching and see you on our next videos bye for now